Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the pagings and how the paging works. Uh, actually paging is uh, giving uh, some, uh, you can say that uh, paging is provided by Microsoft also. Paging is a uh, pagination, uh, we, uh, you can say that we have uh, lots of uh, packages uh, for the pagings. So here I am using actually cloud scribe package of the NuGet library and what I do in this uh, in this code so first of all create a model that is the student here we have a id name and the city according to the student uh, model we have this uh, we have designed a student view model and student view model we have a uh, empty constructor and a single uh, parameter constructor where uh, student view model just have a student uh, model and that student model passed to the uh, student view model um, fields and that fields are uh, the student view model and uh, here we have two extra fields that is the student list and the total count okay so that is the student view model class and after that you have to design data context class for this in the data folder application db context and in which you can say that add a student and after that you have to add migrations okay after the migrations your database is successfully created according to your uh, connection string okay and that connection string is there okay and connection string is added into the into the service I mean to say that uh, registers your service uh, of your SQL server okay so after that you have to add a controller that is the student controller and in the index method you have to pass that integer page number and the page size page number is a 1 and the page size is 3 and vi is the get all method in the get all method we have a page number and the page size and that page uh, that method written page result what is inside in the page result so just go to the definition page result is having with the t class in which you can pass any class like student employee and that's etc we have a page result uh, empty constructor and in the page result we have a data total items page number and the page size so there is a four data only and exclude result i mean to say that page size here we have a page size is 3 my into page number is 1 so page, th page size 3 into 1 is 3 and the page size is 3 so exclude result is 0 okay so 3 minus 3 is 0 so get the student uh, here we have a student list student view model and get data from the student from the database table so contact dot student dot to list and skip that is the exclude uh, records exclude record i mean to say that uh, zero skip zero and take page size page size is three so three record the first time the three record is there okay and list info what is this model list model list is the student list i mean to say that all records are students and that uh, records is converted into the by using this uh, method list of info student list model list is is the uh, model items and model item is passed to the student view model so just convert it okay into the view model so convert into the view model by using this so detail list is a list of student view model okay and after that you have to say that a detail list is not equals to null so that model list dot student list and model dot total item total count total count is getting from the database table by using getting the models okay so after that you have to say that result equals to new page result student view model and data is that model dot student list and total item is model dot total item and page number and the page sizes as well you can you know that and after that you have to say that uh view imports 
and before going to this first of all add a new get package that is cloud scribe dot web dot pagination and that package is used that tag helper at the rate add tag helper star I mean to say that all pack uh, all files cloud scribe dot web dot pagination okay so after that you have to design your view according to this you can say that page result okay and that pager uh, tag helper you can use at here that is the CS paging page size page number total items um, page number param that is navigated from controller action method active class other classes non active class that method you can use for the pagings so it's working for me and you can try it uh, if you have any problems so I will share my code on the github so thank you very much for watching this video